Ryan leaves, you know, who's going to be the guys that you look at? You got to feel his role. You know, it, it's it's hard to say. Maybe some of the young guys. You know, I, I don't know. You know, but you know, I, I'll just talk to you about about a couple guys, and, and, and we'll go from there. But you know, you start you start looking at at, at, at corner, and and, and Tuck's going to be a guy that's going to have to. You know, he's going to have to move up for us. McClellan is a guy that's going to have to move up for us. You know, those those two guys, and and, and, and then you know with Bush. And Brooks coming in, those guys are going. You know, they're going. They're going to figure into who's playing. And uh, I won't be shocked uh, if if those guys end up in the rotation as, as true freshmen. When you looked at Devin and Greg, what was it about those two? You know, that you wanted to have them here in Arkansas. Well, speed, uh, and and the ability to play football. You know, you got a lot of guys that can run fast, but they they can't play football. You know, and, that's, and I don't mean anything. Don't, don't take this wrong because. You, you say something like this, and then somebody, you know, there's a lot of fast guys running track, but they can't play football, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? They, they've got that talent. These, these young men can run fast, and, and, and they're tough, uh, and they love the competition, and they love playing football. Well, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be important. You know, they've got an opportunity. They've already had an opportunity, uh, number one, to make the adjustment uh, in terms of being away from home. Uh, now, uh, you know, going through the all-season program, that's been that's been tough for them. It's uh, it's been a little bit tougher than anything probably they've done. So they've experienced that. And now spring practice, which is probably going to be a little bit tougher. But uh, the the fact that they've been here, they've made the adjustments. And when we get here, you know, we got spring practice ahead of us. I don't want to get too far ahead. But after they go through spring practice, then when we start back in the fall, you know, it's going to be something that they already know. You know, they've already adjusted to it. Well, we made some improvement, but listen, you know, when you when you two and ten, I mean, what can you say? I mean, you know, we're, we're a football team, and 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 we're going to live and die as a football team, not an offense, not a defense, not special teams. Uh, you know, there's no question that we made when you look at the stats, we made some improvements, but as a total football team, and that's what we got to do is we got to become a a football team, and. And a, a football team that's going to play together, a football team that's going, you know, maybe the offense is going to feed off the defense, the, and, and vice versa. And those things have got to happen for us. And and, and that's truly what we got to get done. We got to become a team, you know, before we can become a good team. Well, I, I think this we lost. Obviously, we lost one good player, uh, one really good player. Uh, we got uh, two freshmen coming in, and you know, by the time they're seniors, I expect both of them to be just as good or better than the one we lost. When you say two, are you referring to Zach Williams? Yeah, yeah, and and, and Parker. What about Parker? What could he bring? Well, uh, obviously, and we felt, you know, a year ago, we felt like that he was going to be a big-time player. You know, he had some injuries during the season, and we got to keep him healthy. Uh, and there were times that we were thinking about playing him some this past year. Uh, but uh, uh, And we did even dress him for, for several. But my point is, you know, we're not disappointed. He's got his weight down. He's probably in better condition than he's ever been, and he's ready to go compete now. When you get Zemos in here um, in the summer, what are you hoping to get from him? Is he a guy that can play? Yeah, we're, he better be ready to play. Uh, you know, that's what I've talked to him about. That's what we talked about. But, again, you know, I'm going, I'm going, you know, I'm, I got to coach him up. I got to help him. But he's a super young man, very intelligent, very athletic, you know, can run, can do a lot of things. You know, we got to get him fitted in our system and get him ready to play, you know. And I, I wish I wish he'd have been an early enrollee, but, you know, you know it didn't happen that way. So, but uh, we recruited him because we felt like he could make our linebacker position better and help our football team be better. Well, he's got to work on, on, on everything, you know, and, and let me tell you this, you know, he had to get in there early in the season, and uh, I will just tell you this, you know, from the first game he played in, and he made some plays, and he made plays in every game, but he improved throughout the season, and uh, I was really, really pleased with the way he played in the Missouri game. You know, he, uh, he, played, he played good football. Uh, he's got to get stronger. 
Uh, he's got to get a better understanding of, of how to play the position, and I'm going to be asking him to play two positions. But, uh, you know, I hadn't been disappointed with him at all. I've been, uh, matter of fact, like I said, after, after going back and looking at the, uh, the Missouri game where he played almost the entire game, you know, uh, I, uh, I felt pretty good about the situation. So you've been asked to what were your thoughts on Coach Ingram and what were the main criteria you, you had to have in that? Well, two things. Number one, we, we wanted to hire a great man. And number two, we wanted to hire a great coach. And I think Coach Morse did exactly that. And uh, he's got a lot of dynamics that he can bring and will bring, and uh, we're excited about having him here. The relationship with Coach Caldwell, uh, how, how do you expect that to well, I, yeah, I think I think it's always good. I think it's always good, and and uh, I think I think Kenny could come in and fit in with or without. Don't you know? Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. But it's good that you know they had a relationship, and Steve coached him. I, you know, Steve says he's younger, but I don't believe that. But but he did he did coach him, and and, and relationships mean you know it means something. And you know, I, I think too, uh, and I'm not going to speak for Kenny, but I think too, you know, it was important for him to be in a place too where. Uh, where he felt good about the people that he was going to be around. And uh, we, like I said, we certainly fell in love with him, and we're excited about having him. There's no yeah, question. It may be more of a question for Coach Morris, but to have that, that Memphis tie. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's he's a – you know, Kenny's a legend in Memphis. Uh, you know, he, he, everybody knows him. Everybody knows him. And, and uh, you know, that was not the reason. Like I said, you know, the, the two main reasons and the two things that we – set out that said we're going to do we're going to hire a great man we're going to hire a great football coach and and he fits the bill and he's got some extra uh things that uh, you know will will make him special to arkansas as well well you know if you're going to be a great if you're going to be a great football team you better be able to run the football and you better be able to stop the run and you're never going to stop to run unless you got a, a great defensive line. You know, just look at the people that have been in the playoffs and then look at who, who they got that's going to get drafted and who's going to be first. You know, that's where you're going to build from. And, uh, you know, we've, uh, you know we've, we've improved ourselves some there. We're going to be young. Uh, but, you know, uh, we, uh, we feel like that we got some real good talent. You know, how soon is it going to show up? You know, uh, how soon is a 18-year-old going to be able to line up across from a 21 or 22-year-old and hold his own? And uh, you know that, you know, uh, goes back to you know what are we going to do to develop them? And I think we got a great situation in the weight room, and it's a process. You know, it's not just getting these athletes here; it's what you do with them, how do you develop them, and, and how you teach them, and how you coach them, and, and how you get them ready to play. How good of a job do you feel like? No, no, I didn't. I got caught by surprise when I had, went in my locker room and they told me to put on this gray stuff. So. <laughs> but no, it's uh, yeah. I think they did. I think they did a good job. I, I think you know you want to be competitive as much as you can, and that's just another way to be competitive. And uh, I think it's good. I think it's very good. And uh, you know we'll uh, uh, obviously we'll see when we get them all in the same uniforms, and we got a lot of work before that. You know when I mean the same uniforms when we got somebody else on the other sideline in a different uniform. We got a lot of work to do before then. But, you know, you're excited, you know, with the with the young people that, that we have coming in and then we got some good leadership here already. So uh, and you don't have to be a senior to be a leader. I don't that it, it didn't you don't that, that's not a that's not a, a statement that could be true, you know, but uh, certainly people that have been in the battles, that have been tested, that have played uh, at a winning level in the SEC, it's important to have those guys out there. How much do you look for Scooter to be kind of an anchor, a well, player and a leader? It, big, and, and 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 I'm not, you know, I'm not going to put it all on Scooter. I got to help him be prepared for that, but he's got to be prepared to do that. And uh, we've talked about that, and uh, you know, it's. Uh, I think he, I think he's embracing the challenge to do that. And uh, you know, he's not a, he's not a guy by nature that's going to talk a lot. And uh, you probably interviewed him, and you, you know that. But there's nothing wrong with that. And you don't have to talk to be a leader. You know, what you have to do is be a doer. And, and all he's done is led the SEC in tackles the last two years. And I think that speaks for itself. And, uh, you know, uh, certainly we're going to be smart with Scooter during spring practice. You know, I got other guys I got to get ready. I'm going to make sure he gets every bit of work he needs to be ready in the fall. 
but I'm also going to do my best to make sure he's healthy. What's the drive, Start of, the drive, of, the, the, the drive of the coaching staff coming off last year? Well, you well, you know, let me just let me, let me just put it this way. You know, I've coached I've coached in the SEC for 30, 31 years. This will be 31, I think, and I've coached it'll be 41 coaching. And you know, uh, there's been other times that we didn't have a great year, but it was a very humbling year. You know, everybody I've been asked, did, did you get frustrated? No, I didn't get frustrated. When you get frustrated, you're not going to accomplish anything. But it's very humbling. And uh, if, if the drive's not there to do something about it, then, you know, uh, I would be smart to get out of the way and let somebody else do it. And I'm here. And I'm here for a reason. And, you know, I'm here to, to, to be the right example for these young men. And I'm here to help make Arkansas great again. And that's what we're going to do.